Welcome to Sarasota History Alive. I'm Lee Gaines, your host, and this week we're visiting the Bungalow Hill area just south of Hudson Bayou and west of the Tamiami Trail. Back in 1914, the town of Sarasota had incorporated to become the city of Sarasota. The city leaders then felt if the city were to grow and increase the tax base, they would need to annex new properties. What they didn't realize was that the folks living in Bungalow Hill weren't too keen on becoming part of Sarasota. They liked their area the way it was, thank you very much. To stir the pot, in 1916 the city passed an ordinance to extend the city limits and annex Bungalow Hill. Let the protests begin. And they did. The Sarasota Times reported in May 3rd of 1917 that the people of Bungalow Hill protest against being brought into the city because while they will be taxed, the city has not carried water or sewers to within several blocks of Hudson Bayou and they feel that they would not be given anything for the additional taxation. So, the residents called for a special election to incorporate, elect a mayor, five aldermen, a clerk, and a marshal. The civil case was heard in the circuit court of Bradenton and they dissolved the injunction. Even though many community leaders and the newspaper decided the Bungalow Hillers would be better off being a part of Sarasota, this plucky group of homeowners carried on. As promised, on May 22nd, they held their election and voted to incorporate. They elected Dr. Frederick Schultz, their first mayor. He had come here in 1903 and along with Spencer Olson established the much-loved Badger Pharmacy. He also had his medical practice here. Bungalow Hill, now called Sarasota Heights, slowly began to make improvements, but by the mid-1920s, when Sarasota was in the middle of the Florida land boom, the residents decided their advantages of being part of Sarasota outweighed the disadvantages. In 1925, Sarasota annexed the area, and the Sarasota Heights mayor was given a position as a councilman in the city. After eight years of being independent, Sarasota Heights ceased to exist. However, many of the beautiful homes are still here and make for a perfect Sunday drive, walk, or bike ride to explore this wonderful neighborhood. Well, that's our show for this week. I'd like to thank you for joining me and ask you to be sure and come back every week as we continue to explore our past and keep Sarasota history alive.